Hey guys, Get Level here, and today I'm gonna take on a challenge, and that challenge is to make a full Twitch revamp pack only using Microsoft Paint. You heard it right. So the other day during the Q&A, someone asked me to make a tutorial on how to make Twitch panels. So I pointed them to my other live stream where I teach you, I show you basically how I make a full Twitch pack from beginning till the end, but I was using Photoshop and their point was, well, can you do it using a program that is free? I responded that the tools didn't really matter. Like if I show you that I go in Photoshop and I add like a, a, a yellow square and then a black square and then I write something over it, pretty much every single image software can do that. So all you have to take in is the graphic ideas, not necessarily the step-by-step, -step, oh, um, I don't use Photoshop, so I can't do it. There's no way for me to have a yellow square on screen because I don't have Photoshop. Of course, there's gonna be some limitations. Of course, you're not gonna have the exact same filters. Things are not gonna be managed the same. But if you don't have Photoshop, you go to Google and you type, what's the best photo, what's the free alternative to Photoshop? You will find GIMP and GIMP also has filters just like in Photoshop. But anyways, during the live stream, what I did to demonstrate my point was open up paint real quick and make a panel in like 30 seconds. And in 30 seconds, I had a decent looking panel in Microsoft Paint. And I was like, yo, what is your excuse? So my goal is not to tell you, hey, if you don't know how to do something, just use paint. My goal is to let you know that the best tools for any job is the tools you already have. If you're in a position where you cannot acquire better tools, right? So limitations are not an excuse for not doing stuff. Limitations should spike up your creativity. And no matter how many tutorials I can make, I can't really, I, I can't make a, a, a tutorial on creativity. You have to have the passion. You need to have the drive to do research and with experience by taking information from multiple places, put them together to create something. Anyways, this video is not as serious as I'm, I'm, as I'm trying to make it. This is just purely entertainment, uh, but let's get into the very, very weird idea of making a overlay pack using only Microsoft Paint. I do not have a lot of experience with paint because I own photo Photoshop. I've been using Photoshop for about 10 years now, uh, so I will probably get run into some trouble and, and some struggles, but I, I believe that is also part of the journey, so I will show it to you. Let's go, let's go. Let's just start doing it. Oh, hi there. All right, so for this whole thing, what I'm going to be using is a cheat sheet. I made a guide for all the image resolutions that you need if you're doing a revamp on Twitch. That is on gumroad.com slash level. If you scroll down, uh, it's called Twitch Artwork Size Guide Templates. It's right there. You can download it for free. I made it a couple months ago. So I'm going to be using that to remind myself of the exact uh, sizes for everything. So avatar, banner, panels, offline image. Anyway, so that's the only cheating I'm going to... I'm going to try to, to make sure that this is the only cheating I'm going to be doing. Okay, so here we are in Microsoft Paint. Now, what I want to do is start with a large scale image with a big image so I can just use it for the rest of everything pretty much. So I'm going to make a 1080p canvas and then we're going to start working on it. So how do I make a 1080p canvas? Where do I change the size of my canvas? Resize. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, resize per percentage or per pixel. Okay, even better. So 1920 by, okay, we need to not maintain the aspect ratio. There we go. So I click that off by uh, 1080. So that's a 1080p, basic 1080p uh, image. Oh my God, you can skew stuff. Yo, this is amazing. <laughs> Yo, Paint is, Paint is a great software. All right, so of course it's gonna fill the whole uh, screen, but there's a zoom out bottom, uh, bottom right. So here I have a 1080p image. Okay, cool. I'm gonna look on Google for some inspiration real quick, just when it comes to the colors and everything, because uh, usually that's, that's like the, the part that takes the most uh, of the time when I'm working on anything. It's like settling with some sort of uh, color palette. All right, so I'm gonna select some sort of, uh, I'm gonna select a, a background color. The thing is, I don't think there's a color picker. Oh no, never mind. I see one here. Oh, okay. This might turn out to be way easier than I expected. Okay, so I'm gonna select the color black and I'm gonna start drawing like shapes for the foreground my outline is going to be a solid color 
Okay, cool. Is it going to be foreground or background? Of course, it's going to be foreground. Or color one, I should say. It's color one. It's not foreground or background. It's color one. So I'm going to select color one and I'm going to change that to black. Because I'm trying to do a little bit of a uh, perspective. But also, I do want my buildings to have uh, light. One easy way is to just create um, lines. Is it going to be yellow behind? Yes, because my background color. So I, I can call it background color. That's fine for me to call it back, background color. <laughs> so I'm going to select it, move it up. Oh, it does take into account the transparency because my background color is black now. So it recognizes it. Yo, I don't want anyone to say bad things about Microsoft Paint ever again. This is obviously not straight at all. <laughs> Let's go ahead and um, and copy it. Okay, now I did want to have I did want to have uh, stars, so I'm going to create that with the yellow. What happens when I'm drawing with the pencil and I hold shift? You can create straight lines. Look at that. Yeah, of course it's only side to side when you hold shift. What happens when I hold alt? Nothing. That doesn't make sense. What happens when I? Hold control. Nothing either. Okay, so you can make... <laughs> I mean, I can use this to my advantage. That's fine. I can use the select tool right now. Since my background color is blue, it's gonna... I, I do have transparency selection. So if I copy and paste this, it's gonna be pretty... Uh, the background is gonna be transparent. If I control C, control V, boom. Transparent background right there. Uh, can I rotate straight from here? No, I can't. I can right click and rotate 90 degrees. Why is half of it gone? Why is half of it gone, <laughs> Paint? <laughs> no, wait. Okay. Pace. All right, let's put it away from it. 90 degrees. That doesn't make sense. Okay, uh, I hate it. Completely hate it. I absolutely despise it. Uh, let's find another. <laughs> wait, chat. There's a four point star right here. Look at that. We could have been making stuff. Make, let me draw it. I keep underestimating this amazing, <laughs> this obviously amazing program. Thinking, oh, I'm going to have to draw my own star. But no, we don't chat. We don't have to draw our own star. Um, I'm going to save this right now. If you're using a 1080p camera, then you know your aspect ratio is like 16 by 9. So it's literally the same aspect ratio as our canvas. So you can just fill the screen and then from there, you can try to hold shift. To, okay, that doesn't work. Alt. Okay, so you just, you just have to guess. <laughs> And boom, we're pretty much done. We pretty much have everything we need to have a full, oh no, we actually are missing the avatar and the banner. Okay, I just realized our camera overlay is a square. The avatar is supposed to be square. So technically our camera overlay is also our avatar. I'm gonna try to open a picture of myself and, um, and try to pixelate it and add it to the camera overlay. I'm not going to show you how I'm going to set it up because I do want to put it in Streamlabs OBS and on my bot's Twitch channel. Um, I'm not going to show you step by step because I have so many videos on that. So check out my channel if you want step by step how to upload all of those images once you have them on your Twitch page, but also use them live streaming with your broadcasting software. I have I have like three or four videos on step by step guide, so I'm not going to show you that. I'm going to come back when everything is already set up, so I'm going to open up my bot's. Uh, account and i'm gonna put everything 
and then I'm going to open up Streamlabs OBS and we're going to do our overlays using what we just created just to show you that, oh, it works. <laughs> that is so cool. That is legit so cool. <laughs> That's how you get a full uh, Twitch revamp. Microsoft Paint, by the way. Okay, let's 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 do the the overlays in uh, Streamlabs OBS. There it is, guys. This is <sighs> Microsoft Paint. How much time? Two hours, sixteen minutes. From from the idea to the conception to making it real and to installing it. Oh wait, there's the, I mean, there's the small camera overlay that I could also put, like, I, you get the idea, okay? Um, this is my YouTube Streamlabs account, so low bar doesn't make any sense. But yeah, this is how you would install it, starting soon. Then you can add, like, the low bar, I could bring it here too if I wanted to, like, fill the screen a little more. Uh, this would be my intermission screen. And everything fits just perfectly. And then stream ending. And I have a separate scene for my low bar because I don't like working with groups in, in Streamlabs OBS. This is my current camera overlay. I could I could probably change it, but I'm not going to. It's fine. It's fine like that. There's not much left to say except that there's no excuse for not having um, semi good looking <laughs> overlays. I'm going to make this overlay pack available. I'm probably going to put it up on Gumroad for free. Obviously, I'm not going to make you pay for something I did in two hours in paint, um, but it's going to be free. It's going to be gumroad.com slash guy level. Uh, if you guys have any thoughts on, on on this video, if it was entertaining, if it was educational, just let me know. Um, if you guys are looking, if there are certain parts you didn't understand, like how did I upload this or how did I add it on Streamlabs OBS, I have full tutorials, step-by-step -step tutorials on that. Just look around my channel, you will find them. Uh, this video was mostly for entertainment purposes. Uh, if you guys are not using Streamlabs OBS yet, what are you waiting for? I'm gonna have an affiliate link in the description. If you download it from my specific link, I'm gonna get a little bit of money even though it's free for you, completely free for you. And Charity will also get a little bit of money, so please, consider it you can follow me on social media check me out when i'm live on twitch that's twitch.tv slash gal level uh we're gonna come we're gonna be coming back with stream review which is a show where i look at your streams and i give you my first impressions and, and advice on on how to uh make it better if if there need be but yeah that was a whole lot of fun that was so 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 fun to do and and I don't know, it's still funny to me that I did it. <laughs> so if you're watching this video, the full overlay, the full, I'm probably gonna call it the MS Paint overlay pack, is going to be available on uh, gumroad.com slash get level. That's where it is. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Go out there, make me proud. I will see you guys later. Get level out.